Anytime I hear this intro, I always think of the botched saxophone or trumpet version. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys haven't seen it, please do yourselves a favor and look it up because it's amazing. <laughs> Is that water? Sounds Bubbles? like it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> nice soundtrack already. It feels in the best way possible. It feels very 90s. I'm trying to figure out what the intro sequence is supposed to be. Are they like under the water is for real like or? Bacteria maybe? Or the molecules of the water maybe? Mm. Oh, it was water molecules. And hair. It's sweat. And hair and sweat. Yes. It was a body. <laughs> it was a body. Always <laughs> asking me if I know Tyler Durden. Three minutes. This is it. Would you like to say a few words to mark the occasion? <laughs> With a gun barrel, <laughs> and I wonder how clean that gun is. It's getting exciting now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the demolitions committee of Project Mayhem wrapped the foundation columns of a dozen buildings with blasting gelatin. Oh wow! Oh shit! And suddenly, I realized that all of this has got something to do with a girl named Marla Singer. Bob had bitch tits. <laughs> oh my god! Group for men with testicular cancer. Oh god! We're still men. Oh. Eight months ago, Bob's testicles were removed, then hormone therapy. Ouch. Oh God. Because his testosterone was too high and his body upped the estrogen. You'll oh cry now. Oh my God. I thought, <laughs> let me start earlier. <laughs> I love how he's delivering this monotone monologue. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> insomnia, nothing's real. Everything's a copy of a copy of a copy. Mm. I get that. Nine to five, man. I know. Make these your primary action items. Here's your flight coupons. Call me from the road if there's any snacks. He was full of pep. Must have had his grande latte enema. <laughs> Others, I had become a slave to the IKEA nesting instinct. IKEA. What kind of dining set defines me as a person? Where would he be if Amazon was a thing? <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, oh boy. Not off. I wake up in strange places. I have no idea how I got there. Can you please just give me something? Oh my God. You need healthy, natural sleep. Choose some valerian root and get more exercise. That's medical gaslighting at its finest. Like. You want to see pain? Swing by First Methodist Tuesday nights. See the guys with testicular cancer. Oh, that's, that's pain. <laughs> Wait, what was did that? you see that? What was that? It's a glitch in the matrix. It's a glitch in the matrix. So that's how he ended up at the... <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> that makes sense. He doesn't even have to... <laughs> We give each other strength. Aww. And this is how I met the big Moosey. His eyes already shrink-wrapped in tears. Oh, no. <laughs> Mr. O. They use that on race horses for Christ's sakes. <laughs> this poor guy is like, <laughs> <laughs> like hearing this man's life story. You can cry. <laughs> <laughs> It's something about poor someone guy. telling you that you can cry that just kills every single tear that could possibly come out. Kills the vibe, man. Just kills <laughs> And then something happened. Aww. Oh, man. Babies don't sleep this well. <laughs> he finally could sleep. Wow. After a good cry. Yeah, you just sometimes you just need a good cry. Yeah. Oh god. He became addicted to these groups. If I didn't say anything, people always assume the worst. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever heard of that. That's pretty interesting. It's kind of wrong. You know, it's but... kinda, I know it's kind of wrong, but. And There she, she is. I, uh. I love her. It's cancer, right? <laughs> she was a liar. <laughs> She's like, I That's... don't need two of us in here. I know. <laughs> it's the hypocrisy for me. So once again, hmm. I couldn't sleep. Oh no, man. Marla, <laughs> the little scratch on the roof of your mouth that would heal if only you could stop tonguing it. Mm. Wow, <laughs> I feel so called out. <laughs> Now find your power, Adam. I knew it. I know. <laughs> That's great. Oh man. Damn, she's everywhere. Literally. We need to talk. Sure. <laughs> You're a tourist. I've seen you. You had melanoma. 
I saw you at tuberculosis. I saw you at <laughs> He's outing himself too. I'm like, yeah. I'll expose you. Go ahead. I'll expose you. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'll tell you. We're gonna split up the week. Okay? You take lymphoma and tuberculosis. You take tuberculosis. My smoking doesn't go over at all. <laughs> <laughs> I have more of a right to be there than you. You still have your balls. Kidding. Oh, true. <laughs> that's that's sassy. funny. Why don't you take the blood parasites? I'm on brain parasites. I'll take the blood parasites, but I'm gonna take the organic brain dimension, okay? Like you can't have the whole brain. I love how they're fighting <laughs> to go to these meetings. <laughs> I know. This, this feels like a divorce negotiation. <laughs> For real. You get this, I get that. I get that, that I yeah. know. <laughs> no, I want bowel cancer. <laughs> She's like, you want what? She's like, take the first and third Sunday of the month. That sounds fair. Deal. Okay, there you go. Maybe we should exchange numbers. Should we? We might want to switch nights. Okay. Damn, she's not even checking. The I know. Wow. I'm scared oh of her getting ran over. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if you are seated in an emergency exit row, yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. Unwilling to perform the duties listed on the safety card. Please ask a flight attendant to reseat you. Mm -hmm. Want to switch seats? No, I'm not sure I'm the man for that particular job. <laughs> <laughs> you know why they put oxygen masks on planes? So you can breathe. <laughs> oxygen gets you high. In a catastrophic emergency, you're taking giant panic breaths. Suddenly you become euphoric. You accept your fate. <laughs> Is that really the true reason? I don't I think wonder. so. I <laughs> wonder. <laughs> make you pliable accept your for death. Accept your fate. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Why? So you can pretend like you're interested. <laughs> nice. You have a kind of sick desperation in your life. Jesus, calling him out like that. I know. I make and I sell soap. That was not what I expected him to be doing. <laughs> Did you know if you mixed equal parts of gasoline and frozen orange juice concentrate, you can make napalm? <laughs> what? How's it working out for you? What? Being clever. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up, then. Oh my god. Now a question of etiquette. As I pass, do I give you the ass or the crutch? <laughs> That's a good question to that ask. Is, yeah. One that I will never forget now. Every I time know. I'm <laughs> passing a stranger in <laughs> one of the seats. Hmm. Never mind. Nice car. <laughs> oh shit. Holy shit! He just stole that dude's car. He just <laughs> Or when a volcanic blast of debris that used to be your furniture and personal effects blows out of your floor to ceiling oh. windows and sails flaming into the night. What the hell happened? Wait, his apartment? Yeah. Suppose these things happen. What are the odds, man? Dude, what a nightmare. Oh, all the furniture he no, spent so much just... time getting. Oh my god. <laughs> I relate to that. What's up? Uh, well. And of course, Brad Pitt is eating something. You know, man, it could be worse. A woman could cut off your penis while you're sleeping and toss it out the window of a moving car. I mean, when you put it like that, I Brad. Mean, we, yes, <laughs> yes. I had it all. I had a stereo that was very decent, a wardrobe that was getting very respectable. It was close to being complete. Shit, man, now it's all gone. <laughs> Put you some salt see. on that wound, yeah, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you can also tell he's not taking it seriously at all. We are consumers. We are byproducts of a lifestyle obsession. So fuck off with your sofa units and string green stripe patterns. I say never be complete. I say let, let's evolve. Let the chips fall where they may. Hey, man. You know, there's, there's some pretty good advice in there. I like his character. Yeah, me too. Things you own. End up owning you. Hmm. Deep. Wow. A lot of uh, commentary here on yes. consumerism. Mm. What? A hotel. Yeah. Just ask, man. <laughs> Three pitches of beer and you still can't ask. You call me because you need a place to stay. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. No, no, no. Yes, you I do. Mean, so just ask. Keeps calling him out, I man. Know. 
Just ask him, dude. Hello, guys, and welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be reacting to the Fight Club. Super excited for this one. Yes. Also, thank you guys so, so much for bringing us up to 10K yeah. subscribers. It really means the world to us. Honestly, I, I don't think either of us expected, like, for us to get here when we did. And you guys have been so unbelievably supportive. Like, it's just, it's a it's a huge honor. Like, we're, we're we feel very happy, very privileged to be here with fucking 10K. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for clicking on the video. And we hope that you enjoy. See you in the next one can i stay at your place yeah <laughs> thanks <laughs> it's so funny how these weird niceties that we have so redundant i want you to hit me as hard as you can why he had one part-time job as a projectionist so someone right. has to be there to switch the projectors at the exact moment that one reel ends and the next one begins if you look for yeah. it you can see these little dots come into the upper right hand corner of the screen yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cigarette burns. Cool. Why would anyone want this shit job? Because it affords them other interesting opportunities. Like splicing single frames of pornography into family film. Like the single frames that like were the popping in. Uh... We yeah. What do you want me to do? You just want me to hit you. Come on. Do me just one favor. Why? Why? I don't know why. I don't know. Never been to fight you. No, but that that's a good thing. No, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to die without any scars. Yeah, he wants a good punch, man. Come on. Like in the face? <laughs> Surprise me. He's great in this. This oh is so my interesting. God, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at Kitty Paw. I mean, it looks like ear. it hurt, though. Well, Jesus, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why the ear, man? I know, like, <laughs> what's the one in the ear? <gasps> oh, fair and square, I guess. I mean, yeah, I mean. You hit me. Come on. What? When you get too drunk? I know, like. Way too drunk. We should do this again sometime. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that gonna become his new therapy? Just fighting his friend? That's you. That's me. That's Twit. Good? Yeah, thanks. Straight to the point. What Love it. He, yeah, he definitely just went into place and was like, yeah. I'm gonna live here. <laughs> Uh -huh. Hey, yo! Oh, they're getting serious now with it. Hey, guys. Hey, hey. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it's like, we can explain this. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sure that man. goes over really well at a 9 to 5. <laughs> can I be next? Oh, my God. A group of what? people willing to fight? Welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. Yes. Mm. Second rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. <laughs> Just to make <Okay>. sure. <laughs> who you were in Fight Club is not who you were in the rest of the world. Mm. The guy came to Fight Club for the first time, his ass was a wad of cookie dough. After a few <laughs> weeks, he was carved out of wood. Hey. hey. They really didn't talk about it, huh? They Outside of it. They're all so happy to be here, too. I know. Seems like a stress Ooh. outlet, I guess. Oh, Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. It about winning or losing. It wasn't about words. Oh. Like at a Pentecostal church. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man, that's going to leave a mark for sure. Afterwards, we all felt saved. Oh, my God. How about next week? <laughs> He's like, I need a break after okay. that one. <laughs> Nunchucks in the background. Nunchucks in the background. I haven't seen you in any support groups. I found a new one. Really? <laughs> like the testicle thing? No, it's not like the testicle thing. <laughs> much weirder. I won't believe this dream I had last night. Yeah, I can hardly believe anything about last night. Wait, what? How the hell is she up here? What the hell? What, what are you doing here? What? So what are you doing in my house? Fuck you. What the hell? Oh, you got some fucked up friends, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm done for. You're gonna have to keep me up all night. Oh. I mean... 
You're not into her, are you? No. God, not at all. Mm. Are you sure? <laughs> you can tell me. Believe me, I'm sure. <laughs> He's not gonna tell him. <laughs> now listen. Can't have you talking to her about me. Why would I talk to her? Say anything about me or what goes on in this house to her or to anybody. We're done. Hmm. That's not sus at all. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Yeah, my having god. roommates is not always fun. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Just going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you just this gotta come. That's so call. awkward. Oh, oh. What? Why is it wearing rubber gloves? <laughs> Shut up. Is this his life now? Just Oh my god. <laughs> Just trying to avoid her. Is that your blood? Some of it, yeah. You can't smoke <laughs> in here. Take the rest of the day off. Come back Monday with some clean clothes. Get yourself together. I got right in everyone's hostile little face. Yes, <laughs> these are bruises from fighting. Yes, I'm comfortable with that. I am enlightened. Hey, he started being more of himself. Go live in a dilapidated house in a toxic waste part of town, and you oh have to come home to this. After a long Jesus shift, Christ. too, you know that guy just wants to lay yeah, down and relax. <laughs> yes, this is Detective Stern with the arson unit. We have some new information about the incident at your former condo. The dynamite, dynamite? left a residue of ammonium oxalate potassium chloride. Do you know what this means? Somebody tried to blow him up? It means it was homemade. Who would go and do such a thing? Was it Tyler? He was the one talking about making bombs earlier. He... Hey, are you saying I'm a suspect? No, no. I may need to talk to you a little further. So how about you just let me know if you're going to leave town? Okay. That sounds like he's a suspect, right? Yeah, he is definitely. Okay. Get rid of her. What? Hey, you get rid of her. Yeah, she's your. What the hell? Oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? This is chemical burn. Ah! ah. ah. It'll hurt more than you've ever been burned, and you will have a scar. What are you doing? Guided meditation worked for cancer. Could work for this. What the hell, dude? Bang! Don't shut this out. No! Look no, 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 no. at your hand. Oh. Without pain, without sacrifice, we would have nothing. I tried not to think of the word serum or flesh. Stop it! Oh, I love that. His imagination. Right I'm going to my cave. I'm going to my cave. I'm going to find my cave. <laughs> this little cave. It's the greatest Ooh. moment of your life, man. And you're off somewhere miserable. I am not. It's the best moment of your life. <laughs> I have to consider the possibility that God does not like you. He never wanted you. In all probability, he hates you. This is not the worst thing that can happen. <laughs> He's like, please just make a stop for the love of God. First, you have to know. Not fear. No. It's something mm. you're gonna die. You don't know how this feels. <laughs> oh, he's done it before. Dude, it's just carving into his skin. Ah. Vinegar, please. Oh, what the hell, dude? It's me. Bob. Hey. Oh, Bob. Bob. <laughs> Better than I've ever been in my whole life. Really? You still remaining men together? No, no, I got something so much better now. Don't the tell me. Is, I'm not supposed to talk about it. Oh. I'm a member. Look at my face, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? What? Do you know about Tyler Durden? Oh, he's oh, not taking God. any credit. Yeah. Damn. Oof. Oof. Get him, Bob. <laughs> Get him, Bob. <laughs> Advertising has us chasing cars and clothes. Working jobs we hate so we can buy shit we don't need. Mm. Yeah, I mean. We're the middle children of history, man. <laughs> That's middle children of history. history. I love that. Our great war is a spiritual war. Our great depression is our lives. Damn. Yeah. Deep. What a great monologue, man. Yeah, that's a great monologue. Where to begin? With your constant absenteeism? With your unpresentable appearance? You're up for a review. I am Jack's 
complete lack of surprise. What? <laughs> Are mm. you threatening me? Sort of. You keep me on the payroll as an outside consultant. I don't even have to come into the office. I can do this job from home. Oh. I am Jack's smirking revenge. Oh, here we go. What the fuck? Oh. What the hell are you doing? Oh, he's no, gonna frame he's... him? Oh, please stop! Oh my god. Dude, the boss is like, he has no words. <laughs> Dude, how would you react? For some reason, I thought of my first fight with Tyler. No! Oh my god. Yeah, of course, and the other guy is has barely a scratch. They're gonna just assume. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, dude. Mm. Why would you do that to yourself, man? Trying to prove a point. Give me the paychecks, like I asked, and you won't ever see me again. No way, dude. 52 weekly paychecks and 48 airline flight coupons. We now had corporate sponsorship. Wow. What? <laughs> I mean, he got Yo. out of that spiral, right? Yeah. Tyler dreamed up new homework assignments. He handed them out in sealed envelopes. It's just destruction, man. <laughs> Did you know there's a fight club up in Delaware City? Yeah, I heard. Delaware City. It's growing. How to start a cult 101, I guess, maybe? Or a movement? I'm more interested in these uh, assignments. Like, what is the right, what purpose? Is <laughs> Causing up a lot of trouble out there. That's mayhem. What are we doing? Homework, sir. What kind of homework assignment? Human sacrifice. On a long enough timeline, the survival rate for everyone drops to zero. Come on. Can't find your back? God. Give me your wallet. What'd you study, Raymond? Stuff. Stuff? Biology mostly. What did you want to be, Raymond K. Hessel? Oh, God. Oh. If you're not on your way to becoming a veterinarian in six weeks, you will be dead. Oh, my God. Talk about pushing people to become their best self. I guess. <laughs> you know how much money you have in the bank. Not the car you drive, not the contents of your wallet, and not your fucking khakis. Oh, I love that shot. Dude, it looks like a film roll. Yeah. What the hell, dude? Wow, That's so dude. creative. Oh, she's back. Is this making you happy? Why Why does a weaker person need to latch on to a strong person? What, what, what is that? What do you get out of it? No, it's, it's not the same thing at all. <laughs> I mean, it's totally different with us. We're, we're us? We're roomies. What do you mean by us? I'm sorry, are you, do you hear this? Hear what? You're not talking about me, are you? No. What is that? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Just a little burn. Oh, leave me alone. This conversation. This conversation is over. Is over. <laughs> I just can't win with you, can I? Why Nothing doesn't he even... want her to know about him? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't understand. Like, she knows him already. <laughs> right. But they can't talk about it. But also, like, nothing even happened between these two. I don't know what... Like, there still seems to be an expectation from her. Does that make sense? Yeah. You think she's just, <laughs> like, hooking up with him to be around our guy? You're too young to train here. End of story. Now quit wasting our time. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, he's still there. Oh, no. It's not the end of the world. Just go away. He's so gonna still be there. I know. Got two black shirts. Sir. Two pair of black pants. Yes, sir. One pair of black boots. Sir. Two pair of black socks. Sir. Three hundred dollars personal burial money. <laughs> what? You're too old, fat man. Tits are too big. Get the fuck off my porch. You are too fucking old, fatty. You're too fucking blonde. Get out <laughs> too blonde. <laughs> Tyler built himself an army. Mm. We are the all singing, all dancing crowd. Yeah, recruiting wow. loyal members of his uh, ideology. Yeah. For what end game, I wonder? That's what I'm trying to figure out. For what greater good? Right. In Tyler, we trusted. I love the change in 
mannerisms though the more confident he's getting yeah it's 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 really cool i do have to say that how he started so like quiet know, and shy so, and now he's like yeah, whatever dude he's all meek and now he's like get out of my way <laughs> this is one of many recent acts of vandalism around the city somehow related to underground boxing clubs oh man they're on to you guys oh god it was just yeah! Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Is that green? Is that It paint? was him. It was all of them. What the fuck did you guys do? Oh, God. <laughs> this is not it's funny anymore. Project Mayhem is you do not ask questions, sir. Project Mayhem. Helping others with prevention and enforcement. Oh boy, oh, no they're in way. there. Oh no way. Oh oh. What are they gonna do? In the war against crime. Why does he look so confused? Wait, does he not know what the plan is? I don't think so. And I don't even know what their goal is with Project Mayhem. Is it like a big no. F to the system, I guess? Because he's all about right. like the uprise against like the consumer he, and Yeah. The average person. Oh my god! Oh boy, the entire club is in there. Fine. You're gonna call up your rigorous investigation. Or these guys are gonna take your balls. They're gonna send one to the New York Times, one to the LA Times press release style. Oh my god. The people you are after are the people you depend on. We cook your meals, we connect your calls, <laughs> we guard you while you sleep. Mm, he's got a point. That's insane. Do not fuck with us. Oh my god. <laughs> what a relief. They're not playing around. No. Hey. Yeah, you can tell he's not part of all of this anymore. Yeah. There's almost like a sense of him being left out. Does yeah. that make sense? Ooh. Your guard up, man. Keep your guard yeah, up. Yeah, I know. Come on. Ooh. Oh. Those are some pretty hard punches. Yeah. Oh. oh, he went too far. Dude. Oh my god. Dude, is he even alive? You know it's bad when all the guys from the fight club are looking at you like you just did something horrible. Yeah. It's like, dude, are you losing it or what? After you. Dude, what is this? This is kind of crazy. It's like their entire society, like their own yeah, little yeah, group, yeah. but it's extended so far. First yeah. rule of Project Mayhem is you do not ask questions. What are you talking about? Why didn't you include me in the beginning? It's as much mine as it is yours, you know. Is this about you and me? You need to forget about what you know. That's your problem. Forget about what you think you know about life, especially about you and me. Well, what the hell happened? Come on. They were like super close buddies and now. If you were to die right now, how would you feel about your life? I don't know. I wouldn't feel anything good about my life. Is that what you want to hear me say? Fine. Oh, God. Good enough. Stop fucking around. Ooh. God damn it! God damn it! Fuck you! Fuck! <laughs> Why do you think I blew up your condo? <gasps> oh my god! Let go! All right, fine. Dude. Fine. Was he like stalking him or did he do it because they like met on the plane? That I, I think it's because they met on the plane and he told them he saw that he maybe needed his interference. I don't know. He's kind of weird. Like the entire purpose of finding who you're meant to be through these experiences. Or you could just try therapy. <laughs> Dude, that was bad. It's a pretty bad crash, yeah. Feel better, Jim. I feel like there's been a switch in tone and I can't put my finger on it. Like what what happened? It was yeah, sort of working shifted. and then yeah, something shifted and now it's not working anymore for any of them. And then Tyler? Tyler was gone. What the hell? 
The house had become a living thing. Planet. They're making the soap. Dude. Oh, they're gonna cause like a massive explosion somewhere. Oh, like the the one in the beginning of the yeah, movie. That's that was them. It's under control, sir. Where's Tyler? Dude, his face is so messed up. Poor kid. Jesus. Can I come in? Oh, she's been crying. He's not here. What? Tyler isn't here. She probably just came to see you, buddy. Yeah, I was gonna say. That's the feeling that I'm starting to get. Yeah, because she seems so disappointed every time he turns right. her, like, yeah. away. Oh, shit, they got shot? What happened? We were on assignment. We were supposed to kill two birds with one stone. Huh. That's pretty creative. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so what went wrong? It went smooth until... Please! Yeah, until... They shot Bob. No, oh. not Bob. It's Bob. Oh, oh no. Those motherfuckers. You're running around in ski masks trying to blow things up. What did you think was going to happen? Yeah, you guys are criminals now, man. Okay, quick. We got to get rid of the evidence. We got to get rid of this body. What are you talking about? This isn't a fucking piece of evidence. This is. Yeah, it was someone. No, you listen to me. This is a man and he has a name and it's Robert Paulson and he's dead now because of us. All right, do you understand that? I understand. In death, a member of Project Mayhem has a name. It's a new rule. You know what's crazy too is that like Tyler was all like, you know, fuck the system because we're all a slave to it. The things that you own start earning you, but they're all faceless, nameless people now. Like it's the same shit. It's just a different system that they're slaves to now. Well, he's got free flights, right, from the yeah. <laughs> sponsor? I'm looking for Tyler Durden. It's very important that I talk to him. I wish I could help you, sir. So they know who he is? Dude. So he's known, but they can't talk about him either? Yeah. The plane. I knew if Fight Club was close. It was like following an invisible man. The feel of a floor still warm from a fight the night before. Why is he run running away from him? What the hell? Dude, what the fuck? How have you been? Do you know me? Is this a test, sir? This is not a test. You were in here last Thursday. You were standing exactly where you are now asking how good security is. What? Who do you think I am? You're Mr. Dirt. Please return your seat backs to their full, upright, and locked position. Yeah, Yo, I've facts. got him. What the fuck? Dude, what are these people playing at? It's like they're all in, in this secret, and he doesn't are, know. Right, are they just trying to drive him nuts or something? Have we ever had sex? What kind of stupid question is that? It's stupid because the answer is yes or because the answer is no. Is this a trick? No, Marla, I need to know You mean you want to know if I think we're just having sex or making love? Oh, they've had... Did we do it or not? You fuck me, then snub me. You love me, you hate me. You show me a sensitive side, then you turn into a total asshole. Is that a pretty accurate description of our relationship? What? We have just lost cabin pressure. What did you just say? <gasps> Call me, say my name. Tyler Durden. Tyler Durden, <gasps> you fucking prick. What's going on? I'm coming over. No, wait, wait, Marla, I'm not there. What? You broke your promise. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, that's why he didn't want them to talk about him. What is going on here? I ask you for one thing. Why do people think that I'm you? Answer me! He just appeared in his fucking room. I think you know. Is this like a split personality thing? Why would anyone possibly confuse you with me? <laughs> you got it. No. Say it. Oh my god, dude. Say it. Oh, he did it to himself. That's right. We are the all singing, all dancing crowd. I don't understand this. You were looking for a way to change your life. You 
could not do this on your own. All the ways you wish you could be. He created an alter ego. I look like you want to look. I fuck like you want to fuck. I am smart. I'm free in all the ways that you are not. Out of here. Tyler went away. Tyler gone. What? Oh my god. People do it every day. They talk to themselves. They see themselves as they'd like to be. So wait, what about when they were fighting each other? <laughs> Was he just fighting just with fighting himself, himself like a Naturally, you're still wrestling with it, so sometimes you're still you. This is your first night at Fight Club. You have to fight. Little by little, you're just letting yourself become <laughs> Tyler Durden. You are not your job! That's why the mannerism changes. Wow. She knows too much. I am mind blown, dude. We have to talk about how this might compromise our goals. What are the okay, goals? Okay, so what are the goals, though? I honestly never saw that coming. I thought he was just playing fucking around with him in yeah, the just people. being a dick. I need you to initial this list of phone calls, please. Between two and three thirty this morning. What happened? Who did he call? Have I been Tyler longer and longer? Oh, he doesn't remember anything. I think something really terrible is about to happen at your building. You have got it's under control, sir. Excuse me? Don't worry about us, sir. We're solid. He's in on it. Oh, shit. Dude, is everyone in on this? It's like this underground that has expanded way beyond. Ba basically into a fucking cult, dude. Yeah. That's crazy. Marlos, you watch out, ball freak. Hit me with a fucking broom. Oh, no, they almost fine. broke my arm. Oh, you got to hear me. Oh, here comes an avalanche of bullshit. A little more faith than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great line. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to explain, buddy. I know. You have every right to be. Um, I'll just have a coffee, thanks. Sir, anything you order is free of charge, sir. Oh my god. Why is it free of charge? I don't know. Oh my god. <clears throat> you got about 30 seconds. I know that it's gotta seem like there's two sides to me when you're with two me. Two sides. You're Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Jackass. <laughs> Your life is in danger. Get out of any major city and just go camping or something. You're an insane person. Oh my god. Yeah, she has no idea what's going on. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, you're sorry. I'm sorry. Everyone's sorry, but <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Yeah, good for you. It sounds yeah, like a toxic relationship at the that. moment. You're dating <laughs> two different good. people. I know. <laughs> Literally. I can't explain it right now. Just trust me. If I see where you're going, you will not be safe. I'm not paying this back. I consider it asshole tax. It's fine. Remember, stay out of major cities for at least a couple of days, okay? Tyler, you're the worst thing that ever happened to me. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I can't blame her. God knows what happened when Dude, it was imagine Tyler. the whiplash though. Cause it's like, you he's love me, nice, you don't love asshole. Me. Yeah. That constant hot and cold must have been awful. Jeez. This is a tightly regimented organization with many cells capable of operating completely independent of central leadership. He's given them everything. That have been used very recently to make large quantities of nitroglycerin. I believe the plan is to blow up the headquarters of these credit card companies and the TRW building. Why these buildings? Why <sighs> credit card companies? If you erase the debt record, then we all go back to zero. Mm, gotcha. Keep him talking. I need to make a phone call. Damn. There's no way they're going to believe him. Or they're just going to... Well, I mean, technically it is him, but it's not him. How do we get to this point, man? I don't know. Like, this escalated... <laughs> How the fuck did we get here? <laughs> quickly. What? You're a brave man to wear this. You're a genius, sir. You said if anyone ever interferes with Project Mayhem, even you, we got to get his balls. Oh, oh no, dude. Making a big mistake, fellas. You said you'd say that. I'm not Tyler Durden. You told us you'd say that, too. Oh my god. Listen to me. I'm giving you a direct order. We are on this <laughs> mission right now. You said you would definitely say that. Oh no. I mean, he tried. Oh my god. Fucking out of your minds, you police officers. How deep Think does it go? Care? Nice. Yeah, get the hell out of the town, man. <sighs> Dude. Face down on the floor, both of you, right now. Get down on the floor. Meanwhile, the guys are just confused because they're like, we're just doing what you told us to do. Damn. The worst part about this is that you do not know who's in on it. Yeah. Like, it really is. Because it's gotten so widespread. Like you said, like, it is a cult at this point. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a lot of. 
explosive material. Ah, uh, I can't let this happen. You know there are ten other bombs in ten other buildings. God damn it! Since when is Project Mayhem about murder? The buildings are empty. Security, maintenance, all our people. We're not killing anyone, man. We're setting them free. I'm listening to you. You're not even there. Dude, don't touch it. Now he's got all his fingerprints in on. I know, I know. On that thing. Uh, if you know, then I know. Or maybe I knew you'd know, so I spent the whole day thinking about the wrong ones. Oh, oh God. You're gonna really, really risk it. Oh, shit. I asked you not to do that. Oh. Oh my God. She guessed. Don't definitely don't shoot inside Dude, the van. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude. Yeah, I keep forgetting it's just him. It's like he can hurt him all he wants, but he can't hurt Tyler. Yeah. Oh, come on. Don't go. That's so messed up. Oof. Ah. Jesus. Turned into a horror film real quick. <laughs> Ooh, <sighs> he is so messed up. Dude. The soundtrack oh, is amazing. Dude. It's so eerie. Yeah. Oh no. Mm. <sighs> this guy's been through dude. hell. Three minutes. This is it. Oh, there we are. <laughs> yeah. Ground zero. I think this is about where we came in. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> One step closer to economic equilibrium. Ah, oh, dude. He can't get control back. Don't tell me. She here, tying up loose ends. Oh no. You're a fucking hallucination. Why can't I get rid of you? You need me. No, I don't. I really don't hey. anymore. <laughs> Please call this off. He can't stop it anymore. Technically, if Tyler kills him, he would just be doing that to himself, huh? Yes. Why do you want to put a gun to your head? Not my head, Tyler. Our head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Yeah. Changing it up a little bit. Where are you going with this IKEA boy? IKEA boy. <laughs> it's you and me. Oh, now it's you and me. My eyes are open. Oh. Oh my god. What the hell? What's that smell? What? How, the How hell is, is he, he still, still moving? Are you uh... oh, I went through. All right, sir. Oh yeah. Terrible, sir. What happened? Oh, nothing. No problem. What the hell? This is such an interesting film. <laughs> Hi, Barla. What kind of sick fucking game are you playing at? Putting me on a fucking. Oh my god, your face. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, how the hell are they gonna stop the explosion? Ask. You're shot. Yes, I'm shot. Oh my god. Or he graze him, <gasps> or just accident. My guess. Who did this? I did, actually. Marla, look at me. I'm really okay. Trust me. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh my god. Wow. You met me at a very strange time in my life. Yeah, yeah, you can say that again. Oh my goodness. I honestly thought we were going to be watching a movie about a fight club. <laughs> Just like people fighting each other. <laughs> what the fuck? I am mind blown. So he, yeah, he got struck by the bullet and that kind of killed Tyler's alter ego. 
he's finally in peace with who he is as yeah. himself, right? And he doesn't, yeah. he no longer needs the alter ego. He's comfortable. Like in those final moments, he was free in a way. You know, this movie caught me <laughs> off, like so off guard because <sighs> I honestly thought like the whole vibe was like, yeah, you know, they start the fight club and yeah. they start fighting each other. And then, yes. And then two thirds in. It completely changed. Yeah. I was expecting like, yeah, like the entire club situation to be the main theme of the film. And then I expected <laughs> things to get out of control at some point. But I was yeah. I always thought there was going to be more like violence against them. Right. With you each didn't other, expect but they, it to escalate this. I didn't expect them to become a cultist <laughs> at this level. No, I did not. And wow. for sure, the biggest what the fuck moment of the film. I was not expecting this. A, a dissociative identity disorder esque situation. Yeah, you know what I mean. Which is nuts, but it was handled so well. It was written amazingly too, because I kept once they do like once they make that initial reveal, I was like, wait, so is Tyler playing? Yeah. You know, is he playing him? Is he leading him on? Is right. he keeping him out of it for what's the purpose? Why are you cutting your friend off all of a sudden? And then it's like all these people think that he is Tyler, right? Yeah. And all these people are calling him Tyler. And I was like, is this something that Tyler pre like that he he planned in some way to fuck with his mind? Right. And then he calls he calls a chick and she's like, no, no, no. Yeah, you're you're Tyler. And it's like, wait, what? So like, yeah, pro most likely he's the one that went around. Well, yeah, he had all the tickets, right? He is the one that went around the entire country, basically forming these clubs. Yeah. These cells right now. Yeah. It's very interesting, like a lot of the commentary that they're making on when it comes to like dealing with your own grief and also coping with life and responsibilities and capitalism <laughs> and also like very much like fuck the system. But the interesting thing is like those that promise to, you know, break the chains, break the wheels are just more people that b put more chains on us and don't actually break the wheel. Yeah. Right. It was interesting how they turn into their own cog machine. Yeah. While intending to break a different system. I think that yeah. commentary was they interesting. Just, yeah, they just slipped into another one. Yeah. Like, that's kind of crazy. Man, this movie. I'm going to have to rewatch this. Yes. I feel like now knowing what the twist is, because I'm sure you can catch a lot of clues yeah. in the beginning. I'm sure the people are going to please let, it, let us know. <laughs> like, just comment below. Like, hey, yeah, when this happened, because when they were doing the initial blips, yes. what was that all about, by the way? Was that like his mind starting to split? Was that what that I was? I think so. I think that's just like little sprinkles of Tyler Durden starting to appear. Oh. That's how I, I interpret it. I wonder if we rewatch it, if there's like specific triggers that kind of make right. him think, I need to become Tyler. I need to become Tyler. And then right. he finally cracks and he becomes Tyler. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, if it's like I those wonder. moments where like he really desperately because needed Tyler someone like Tyler or he needed, he needed to be someone like Tyler. Yeah. I don't know, dude, this is so cool. Okay, it's, it's, it's really cool that they sprinkled in those little Easter eggs. I, I enjoyed it, man. Thank There's, you guys for yeah. recommending. This was a, a pretty, pretty good watch. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. This yeah. is, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to sit and think about this one for a little bit. That's for sure. Comment down below all the little Easter eggs that you could catch. If you rewatch this a second time of where you can kind mm -hmm. of figure out when Tyler is, you know, our main guy, yeah. <laughs> let me know and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. See ya.